In a significant turn of events in Sudan's year-long conflict, the army announced the liberation of the National Radio and Television Authority buildings in Old Ondarman from the Rapid Support Forces grip. The Rapid Support Forces had seized control during the initial days of the conflict that erupted on April 15 last year. Prior to the Sudanese army's announcement, reports surfaced of army forces eliminating 150 Rapid Support Forces members during a down operation aimed at rescuing besieged forces in radio and television building. Additionally, 40 combat vehicles were destroyed. This development follows the recent adoption of a Security Council resolution advocating for a humanitarian ceasefire in Sudan during Ramadan, urging warring factions to lay down their arms. For nearly a year, Sudan has been engulfed in conflict between the army and the rapid support forces, resulting in over 13,000 casualties, with more than 8 million displaced and millions more facing famine, as per the United Nations.